And when the system becomes draconian, totalitarian, thinly disguised surveillance, et cetera, social credit scores, all the bad things we just talked about, people won't stand and take it. They'll get out of the system. And then your question, Sean, where will they go? Um, and crypto, if they can, cash probably will be gone by then, but uh, gold, silver, uh, and, you know, just make up money. Is there any way for people to sidestep CBDCs? Uh, is there anything you can recommend to perhaps avoid them or minimize your exposure? Is it just getting out of the banking system? Uh, that's what it'll amount to. Now, here's the thing I said earlier that the government imposes these programs. They've got their agenda, but they're very bad. They underestimate people's intelligence and adaptability. So let me give you a concrete example. Um, in the 1950s, I'm growing up, you have a family reunion, there'd be some, you know, great uncle he hadn't seen in a while and he would say hey kid don't take any wooden nickels and when i was an eight-year-old i was like what's a wooden nickel uh but they in the great depression going back to the 1930s they actually had wooden nickels the fed had completely bungled the money supply they they tightened at the wrong time they sank the stock market they did everything wrong. but there was a serious shortage of money in addition to 25 percent unemployment and, and you know stock market down 80 percent uh it was real, truly hard times so what towns and communities around the country would do, some carpenter with a dowel would just slice uh, wooden rounds uh, and they would print something on it like, uh, you know, five bucks or whatever. And with the name of the town, everybody in the town would agree to accept it. So you could use these wooden nickels. I mean, back then, nickel was worth five bucks. Uh, you could use the wooden nickels to get a haircut and the barber could pay a staff and they could buy groceries. As, and as long as everyone agrees, as long as everyone's on board, that works. And it goes to a, a deeper point, which is, you know, money is not just uh, a note from the Reserve Bank of Australia or the Federal Reserve Bank. Um, I mean, it is, but it does. It's not limited to that by any means. And um, uh, anything can be money if willing buyers and sellers agree it's money. Then it's money. And in the Great Depression, wooden nickels were, as I say, it was worth about five bucks by today's standards. But that was money. So the government underestimates the people's ability to adapt and create new forms of money. So if you make a particular form of money, in this case, the US dollar or the Australian dollar, so unattractive, so draconian, so much a tool of surveillance and, and coercive behavior, people will find a way out of it. Uh, now, crypto is an obvious one, although, as I said, the government's shutting down crypto as well. There's a war on crypto. Cash is an obvious one. We talked about that. They're shutting down cash. So they're kind of the two obvious ones, you know, cash and crypto, they're shutting it down. So what else is there? You know, wooden nickels, I wouldn't rule that out. The answer is gold and silver, um, physical gold and silver. Um, again, the, the one ounce silver coin is a very practical unit. I mean, for until 1900, that was the dollar that, you know, when again, when I was a kid, maybe on your 10th birthday, you know, somebody would give you 10 silver dollars, you know, hey, happy birthday. Um, and at the time they were $10, today they would be worth $300 because it's about $30 an ounce. So, uh, but the point is those were real silver. I mean, silver dollar in the 1950s and 60s was real silver. Today they're uh, they're made of zinc or, or in copper and so forth. But um, but you can buy a solid silver coin, the American Silver Eagle, you have to buy from the Mint or buy from a coin dealer. But, uh, but that's real money. So people will go back to silver dollars, uh, I think in gold, it's the eight gram coin, the old British sovereign. Um, Australia has a version. The U.S. has a quarter ounce American gold eagle. Um, and, and who knows? Maybe maybe other things as well. But that will be money. And so people will just quit the system. When the system becomes draconian, totalitarian, d thinly disguised surveillance, et cetera, social credit scores, all the bad things we just talked about, people won't stand and take it. They'll get out of the system. And then your question, Sean, where will they go? Um, and crypto, if they can, cash probably be gone by then, but uh, gold, silver, uh, and, you know, just make up money. Uh, and people have done that many times. Mm -hmm.